begin this project, I'm using a tray that I thrifted and a vase slash votive base from Dollar Tree. You can see I actually spent about 99 cents on the tray and about $1.25 on the vase. So I'm going to make sure I'm cleaning off both of these items before I get started with this pedestal bowl project. So we're gonna make sure it's nice and clean, wipe it down. I recommend using a degreaser cleaner and you can use like a paper towel or you can use a rag for this step. Next, we're gonna take E6000. I've had some in my craft stocks. It's a really high industrial adhesive and I'm gonna be putting my E6000 on top of the base of my candle holder and then I'm going to make sure that it is kind of spread evenly without allowing it to drip when I place top onto it. So we're going to make sure there's enough E6000 and then we are going to add our hot glue. I like to use hot glue in addition to the E6000 because hot glue really does help with um, getting the surfaces to adhere to each other really quickly and then the E6000 does a great job of reinforcing it as it cures for the rest of the day. I usually let it cure for about 24 hours. Once the glue dried, I'm a little ahead of myself in this video footage so apologies, but I basically used a Rust-Oleum linen white chalked paint to help me uh, basically add kind of a neutral surface to the tray and also the glass votive. I just wanted to make sure that it was one neutral color before I even got into my next step. And what I love about chalk paint is it doesn't really require any sanding. It has a really nice matte finish. I did about two coats on this tray uh, just to make sure that the red didn't kind of peek through from the tray. And then once I allowed it to dry, uh, we move on to the next step. So now I'm using my Rust-Oleum Stone Spray Paint. I'm excited because this is my first time using this product. So it's a textured spray paint that's supposed to make surfaces look like stone. I'm holding it about 10 to 13 inches away from the pedestal. And I had to shake it quite a bit before I actually started painting it. With like most spray paints, you want to make sure it's nice and uh, shaken up. But uh, making sure I'm applying it in even coats and from there allowing it 15 minutes to set between coats. And I would say I probably did about three coats of this textured paint um, and then I allowed it time to cure overnight. And here is the after. I'm really loving how this pedestal turned out. You can really dress it up or keep it plain. It doesn't really matter. It really does make a big impact on a space. I'm very happy with the finished product. I hope you feel inspired to try it as well. Thank you so much for watching today's DIY on a dime, and I will see you in the next one.